So a new discovery in Antarctica. Researchers find new life under an ice shelf, and the discovery was an accident. They both science pro is here to explain all of this for us. This is a strange one, huh? This is a strange one, but when you find out what these scientists did and what these folks do just to learn stuff, it's amazing. <laughs> so it was a five-hour flight right from their closest station that they had, and they camped out. They were intense for a few months. They ate dehydrated food. All they were trying to do was to find the history of this ice shelf that they were on, which is thousands and thousands of miles and a half mile deep. So here's what they did. They had to bore a hole, and what they did was they took 20 tons of snow and they melted it. They had to create 20,000 liters of hot water because they had to dig through this ice. So then they pumped it through a pipe, which lowers down into this borehole. It took them 20 hours to melt through the ice. And they kept doing this over and over and over again to try to collect sediment from the bottom. And that's what they wanted to do. But here's the problem. They kept coming up empty. One time they actually went down and their camera bumped this object. Okay, this dark thing turns out to be a rock, which you see there, mm -hmm. where the camera hits it. Mm -hmm. So the camera writes itself, and then it reveals life, life on the rock. They weren't even looking for this. And the actual scientist was like, hey, I'm not even a biologist. I had no idea what this was. But they found a layer of bacteria called a microbial mat, Russell. And they found little sponges as well on this rock. And they were just dumbfounded because how how could this survive it's 160 miles away from an open ocean where it could achieve any light at all again it's thousands of feet down it's probably 4500 to 5000 feet down yet there was life so what they're thinking is is that maybe the currents underneath this ice shelf are bringing in old decayed marine animals and allowing them to grab those on the way through. They didn't find any fish, but this does indeed call for further study. I mean, just an amazing thing that they happen, a one in a million chance to bump into this rock and find life. And now they've only measured about a tennis courts full, you know, of work in something that's thousands of miles wide. Wow. I mean, are they able to bring up any of it? No. Nope. That hole is really, really small. They're not able to bring any of it up right now. They're trying to find a way to go down and collect it, but they haven't had a chance to yet. Because, that, again, that's not their department. They were there looking for sediment. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then now you've got to get a biologist down there sure. and try to figure all this out. But this just goes to show you that life can be found in mo most extreme examples thousands of miles below ice. I just think it's a great I story. I think it's fascinating. And another thing to say is yeah. life always finds a way, <laughs> doesn't it? It finds it a will. way to survive in the worst of places. Wow, cool. Thanks, Dave. Got to run.